Okay, gentlemen, uh, I have a look uh, on uh, my brand new 800Z case, and um, I think I know what I will do for the radiator part. I'm not quite uh, sure about you browsing and all this uh, other details that we will have to look later, but um, I'm quite confident on what I'm going to do with the radiator. Um, the case is uh, made perfectly to fit. Uh, triple red on the top and I think I'll just do that my initial inclination was maybe to try to see if I can put radiator on top and uh, do something like this with maybe push-pull configuration but um, fitting of the radiator is a little bit awkward um, so I'm not sure it will be look nice uh, there's some depressions here specifically so we can put fans in this area and they don't shift um, looks pretty nice but when I put a radiator uh, this depression actually became a little bit hindrance and, uh, and I think it will look foreign at the end but if we look into placing a radiator internally it fits just naturally can't even see it and you have an option to put a 25 or 38 millimeter fan without any problem and it will be enough clearance uh, for your motherboard uh, you cannot put 55 millimeter fan also uh, it's getting a little bit lower than you want and it will interfere with um, uh, memory circuits so another part so that configuration wouldn't work uh, what I uh, planning to do, I'll keep um, radiator inside, but I put fans outside on the top, and I'll keep it in in a pool configuration. Why don't want to put any fans here? Um, I'm actually planning to use the next generation monster radiator in this build as soon as it became available, and um, the, probably it will be like good 10 centimeters. Uh, high and it will be exactly fit here so I just will flip my triple rod and put uh, most instead when I'll have it okay so on the top there's a few options um, I love some aces um, <coughs> but they doesn't seem to look as as nice as um, as a tri-work fans which I think uh, look better for for the sim of the, of the case and uh, you can uh, put uh, different uh, grilling options like that like this or you can put a filter or what I actually like and I think this will be probably the best option here is uh, to put aluminum mesh make it like this um, so the <coughs> the whole thing will look very much natural and uh, almost like a part of the case the only tricky thing is what to do with the power cables because there are no um, holes or anything to, to deal with the cabling so you either need to put it somehow here which I don't think is a good idea or you have to run it on the side of the case and probably put it in, in one of the holes here on the back that I guess will be um, the option I, I will go to use but for now that's the plan to have a triple on the top uh, three tri-brake fans with uh, aluminum mesh and uh, I'm pretty sure it will look fantastic and uh, if I need to replace uh, radiator later, I'll just unscrew screws and replace it quickly. And I'll use a quick disconnect um, to make sure uh, it will be easy procedure for me. Right? So that's the plan, and uh, probably will start um, assembly this part, and also will look on my motherboard one time again and see if I can um, use some 90 degree uh, fittings to to make routing easier um, as you know I have gigabyte board with uh, two MOSFET blocks one chipset block um, 
and um, in CPU block and so I have so many connections that it's, it's, it's I still can't perfect it and it uh, doesn't look as good as I, I would like you to and um, so hopefully with 90 degree fittings also I will lose some flow rate with them um, the build itself will be, look bad and I also plan to compensate for that using uh, dual pumps in series so I have more punch because of that so uh, coming back soon is uh, I'll start getting some progress and I'll show up you more videos.